So this is the mat in front of my house and this is what someone did. They burnt something there. This liquid that you're seeing on it, that's actually olive oil. I put olive oil on it because after I saw that, I had to pray over my home. But this is what someone did. Look at that burn. Look at that. Hi guys, this is a very different type of video. I just want to give words of encouragement to this particular doctor. Shout out to the doctors that watch my channel. Shout out to the psychiatrists that watch my channel. Shout out to the psychologists that watch my channel. Shout out to all you guys that watch my channel who are open to learn about, you know, spiritual warfare and who understand these things. Shout out to the judges that also watch my channel. But I want to specifically speak to this specific doctor who is one of my neighbors. I won't say which neighbor, but they're one of my neighbors. Apparently, this particular doctor felt like it was okay for him to do witchcraft in my on my front step. <laughs> but I do want to say thank you to you, though, because honestly, I had this mat in front of my home that I had to get rid of for months, and I've been procrastinating because I've just been really busy. So the fact that you put the incense under the mat and you chanted something to your, um, I think it was God, I don't know if it was Ganesh or whatever God that you were serving, but that pushed me to get a new mat. I had to get a new mat. I've been due for some time now. But apparently you thought it was okay to do witchcraft in front of my stuff. And apparently you found my YouTube channel and apparently you're upset. And I don't understand why, because I don't know you. I've never had an issue with your sister. I've never had an issue with anybody else. Your sister's an amazing person, by the way. Very amazing person. But, you know, that's the windshield wiper, guys. I just find it really upsetting and really distasteful. And I'm appalled that you would even go out of your way to do witchcraft right in front of someone's step because of what because because you're frustrated with your job i want to tell you something we as human beings we are responsible for the decisions that we make good and bad right and if you don't like something in your life then just change it you're not forced to be there and you don't have to be you get what I'm saying? But again, I understand if you are someone that is doing evil, you may have to sometimes stick with what it is you're used to unless you're willing to change. And in your case, I don't think that you're able to completely elevate and be as happy and peaceful as you want until you change your ways, right? And the point of me saying this is, I really hope that you do change. I really hope that you make a decision to go after your happiness. And you know what I mean? To turn away from your evil rather than to target people's homes and put Indian incense under their rugs and try to send spirits in their homes. As you can see, I know because I can see you. And I don't have to physically see you to see you. But I'm praying for you and I forgive you and I hope that things work out in your life and I understand that things are hard but let me tell you something as long as you wake up every single day and you're breathing and as a doctor you know this because you deal with patients all the time right but as long as you wake up every day and you're breathing you have another chance at life you have another chance at life and you know it doesn't matter how wicked you are or what you've been through you can change that so I hope that you are encouraged I hope that you change your ways and thank you for pushing me to get a new mat because I really needed one <laughs> and I'm going to keep praying for you it's not too late and you know you can make positive changes in your life and I hope you don't treat your patients the way that you treated me. I hope you're actually an honest doctor when it comes to your profession. 
because what you do behind closed doors doesn't matter but I would hope that you would be honest and change your ways okay talk to you guys later because I got some words for you guys